everyone. Well, we finally got a break in the weather, and I figured, you know what? I'm gonna take a, take a day or maybe two and and spend that out in the woods. But uh, in my haste, I forgot to bring my uh, my cot. Well, I know that I'm gonna regret this in the morning. But hey, I'm gonna try to make the best of it. I'd like you guys to come along for the ride. Stick around. Never know. Might be an interesting one. I can tell you, ain't gonna be anything fancy about tonight's dinner, that's for sure. Some uh, Greek smoked sausage, bread, maybe a little bit of tomato and some Greek cheese. And that's it. I gotta tell you guys, I don't drink a lot. I usually, uh, I usually have a dry camp, but, uh, I decided to bring a couple of brewskis with me today, and it's been a while, I'm telling you. There's nothing worse than having a room temperature beer. This beer ain't cold, man. There used to be a stream that ran down this mountainside, and from the drought, like, ah, it's crazy, man. Back home in Montreal, it's been raining every day here. I guess it just hasn't. And the stream is just dried out. Usually I keep uh, everything in plastic bags and just leave them in the stream, cold running stream, and uh, it would work fine. That ain't the case. And uh, another thing, but same thing that happened to me the other day, I mean, a couple of years ago when I was up north, happened again. Been getting dizzy spells, and I don't know if I overworked myself, just the heat, whatever. But right now, I'm like overheating, I think. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna place this bandana around my carter arteries here, and that'll cool me up. And uh, you can do that like any on any part of your body where you can see your veins or your arteries, be it the back side of your wrists, like if your fingers start to get cold, it's because the, uh, the, 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 the blood that's running through your veins gets cold also. So by heating up your, uh, your, your veins here, your blood, it'll probably like heat up your, uh, your extremities. 
and the same thing happens here like now I'm doing it uh, reverse like I want to I want to be cold I want like a cold compress so I'm putting it here but I could have put it like on my temples wherever you can feel a pulse wherever you can feel a pulse is where you could apply the bandana with cold or heat or, or, or heat uh, whatever you need to regulate or possibly regulate your uh, your temperature a bit now I don't know how true this is I read it a long I read up on it a long time ago and that's that's what they say like you can use your ankles here your you know the, the back part of your elbows your wrists your temples like I said before wherever you can get a, uh, a pulse I did a lot of hiking gathered some wood I was lucky enough to fall upon a pile of uh, cuts, so I didn't have to cut anything. It was served to me. <laughs> yeah. I just need to, uh, what do I need to do now? Yeah, I'm going to need to clean that stick so that I can skewer my sausage. Did I put it? I like to, uh, like to shave the bark off. I find it gives uh, gives food a bitter taste when you're cooking it, when you're skewering, actually. I like to keep the uh, the side that I cup up, uh, the cut upwards, so that the juices stay within the the casing. I don't want to lose those fine juices. Let her smoke and burn. Dinner's almost served. Oh yeah, what do you think? We're gonna eat soon, eh? Now you see it, now you don't. <laughs>
I'm regretting it. My back is sore. And it was pretty cold. It uh, it dropped to about five Celsius this uh, this evening, and uh, my fire went out. Anyway, I slept okay. If it just if it wasn't for my back, oh my back, oh my god. Uh, but uh, I got to get up and look for the pooch she took off. Anyway, guys, stick around. We're gonna I'm gonna go for a hike. Get a few other things done. I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna attempt to make a a buck saw. I got my blade with me. I'm gonna try to make one out of uh, some sticks that I'm gonna gather from the woods. So stick around. Make myself a coffee. I'm not in the mood for breakfast. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, 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 my back. How about wet? Oh. Oh man. Got to do something. Oh yeah, where are you, girl? Where are you? There you go. Come on down over there. Go on. Come on, I yeah. Come on over here. I can throw the light on in your place there. That's my place, you bitch, over there. Lie down. Up, chasing them all over. Down. She just doesn't even want to go down. She wants to just run her up. Okay, free. Get out of here. She's like a bulldozer. Bulldozers over. Yeah, through everything. off and uh, you know, huh, I'm not really worried about her wandering off too far, but I wouldn't want her to come across any coyotes or raccoon or whatever. Uh, yeah, she's a pretty big dog and she can probably take care of herself, but she's no match. Well, it's a couple of them anyway. So, I don't want to tire. I really hate tying my dog up. I'm probably going to be heading up and back later on this afternoon. I don't think I'll be able to make another night sleeping outside like that. Ain't no young cheese anymore. So, basically, like I said before, it's just uh, three sticks, about uh, four arms, about the length of your arm from your shoulder to your wrist, okay? Uh, cut evenly about one inch in diameter so you got uh, two verticals one on each end okay and then you have the uh, horizontal that uh, that just supports the whole saw in the middle here and up on top what you got you got some paracord with a little spindle that uh, just tightens the uh, the saw the blade 
So the more you you tighten it, the more it closes inwards on the top and outwards on the bottom because of this cross member right here. And what I like to use to secure my blade is just simple uh, little key rings here, one on each end. And uh, you can cut just about anything with this. So the idea is uh, like the longer you make your uh, your verticals here, the wider the diameter of the log that you'll be able to saw through. So like in this, this saw here, I'll be able to uh, cut through probably, I don't know, four inch, a four inch diameter log with no sweat. Uh, and again, you know, uh, I rushed this. I didn't take my time about it. So it could be, it's a little bit wobbly, but it, well, not really, it, it'll work, you know. Uh, and there you have it, a little project out in the backwoods, keep me busy and out of trouble. <laughs> See you guys later. Fork rules, man. I'm gonna set this aside. I ain't gonna tease you guys any longer. <laughs>